Yep. All right. Greetings and salutations, YouTube. As you guys can see, Cheryl with the most Paul can too. And today we're gonna hit up some estate sales. Um, more likely than not, I'm actually gonna only hit up one. I'm on the way back from the gym right now and I just Googled if there are any estate sales happening nearby. I found one, so I just wanna stop by real quick and see what's good. And then we may pick this up another day. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to this residence and see what they have. Oh my gosh, walking in, Smurf blue carpet. That's ideal. <laughs> Wow, if you guys thought I would not get this Winnie the Pooh and Tigger rug, you're out of your minds. This thing is cool. It does have a little bit of uh, residue on it. Unknown origin. Old school Lego box. And base plates, these are actually super old. 35 bucks. I guess this is like the, the kids area. Going on up here, they got an old chalkboard, old desk, and on the wall. I hate a what? I hate a goofy especially. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, sorry about the lightning situation, but these Legos are so OG. You can tell by the shirts. These are really old school Legos and by the wheels. Probably late 80s, early 90s. Um, this is easily probably worth the 35 they're asking. I just don't need them, so I'm gonna leave them. But I mean, there are some very unique toys in here, but I'm mainly just looking for stuff for myself. Um, which some of you guys may see some of this then be like, dude, you should have got that. But honestly, there's only so much stuff that I want to have in my residence and I don't want my garage full of like gear that I'm trying to flip on eBay, etc. So, I mean, this is all kind of for the personal collection, if that makes sense. Guys, this is what I love. The garage is just full of stuff. Um, so I need stuff for the house. So straight up, I'm, I'm looking for pots and tools and we got a couple of them. Like for $3, these are normally like, I think 10 to 15 bucks. You have this giant planter and then they have this super old like ceramic jug of some sort. Um, it has a nice little hole in it. So I think I could put a giant plant in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably grab that dude. This looks like, I don't know, a storage facility for Winnie the Pooh's honey. So that's nice. And then I also needed some hedge clippers. So pray to God I don't remove like a finger or two, but this thing is nice. It's like tree bucks, so why not? But this dude has a vicious tennis racket collection. So I'm trying to go on the mental Rolodex and see if somehow I could come up with like an art project to utilize some of these because I mean, they're just an abundance of them. They're old school and they look really sick. So we'll see about it. I'll check this out too. These could be uh, turned into hood ornaments. You got the chrome polar bears for $3. Um, not too shabby for daddy, dude. I wish this was a real world creature. Thing would be looking extra shiny, extra flamboyant with the fur textures. It's nice. Yo, they got a box full of those gats. Bruh. Oh, they have the wooden, uh, <laughs> the wooden revolutionary war pistol. Dude, as a kid, I used to always want these. Like any tourist attraction we go to, this was a must have. Insta cop, cap gun, bro. In small, miss small. Dude, this is so wild. They have an old school Mickey Mouse back scratcher. It's like $4. I don't know why I want this, but <laughs> dude, it's just awesome. And the $50 super old school mechanized metal teddy bear just smoking the reefer. Actually, that's a, that's a, oh. that's a darn panda. Yo, this Furby is definitely on drugs. Oh my God. Smoke weed every day. Dude, I'm really about to blow bank <laughs> at this estate sale. Look at this table, dude. I really want this. It's a, um, a Coke table with Coca-Cola chairs. It's like 50 bucks. This thing just looks so cool. I don't know, it's very tempting. I'm not quite sure where I would put it. Probably on my patio, like outside. It's just so cool. And then you also have this $10. Oh yes, stroke my cactus. Stroke my cactus. It's lit, little cactus. I might have to, dude. I might have to. Just the like ceramic pot alone is worth 10 bucks. But then the cactus included? Oh, you're doing the most. Dude, look at this too. Succulent nation, baby. That's what I'm all about. If I was a plant, I would definitely be a succubus succulent. This is $10 in a giant container. 
I don't know, this plant is very unique. Kind of when I see plants like this, I just want to get them. Like this thing is going ham and there are a couple different varieties. I need to identify this species first. But um, I also grabbed uh, a bunch of pots that I saw back here to throw some plants in. And then they happen to have a Houston Astros trash can that was just included, but um, yeah, gonna really get my Paul Plan 2 green thumb on with these fire finds um, whilst I think about what else is here. Hey, this actually is a nice little painting. Um, got another bedroom right here. Paintings, cuckoo clocks, elongated um, metal pine cones. This definitely could be utilized as a blunt force trauma weapon. A little end table, medicine cabinet, wooden chairs. Oh yes, and the ponchos. Oh my Jiminy Cricket guys, I'm not playing dude. So I got that Coke table for $50. I looked it up, bro, that thing is listed for $760 on eBay right now, the exact same set. So even if that table's worth like 100, it's worth it. Now, I don't know how the hell I'd even ship that, but all I know is I love unique items. For 50 bucks, dude, you could get like two bullshit Better Home bar stools at like Walmart. Trippy. Or you can go ahead and cop a Coke table with four chairs. That's an antique, bro. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna sell it, but that thing is just so cool. I was like, yo, no one's bought this. It's $50, like what's $50 in the grand scheme of things? I'm grabbing that shit. That's a unique ass item. So yeah, I'm about to pull up over there and load up the car. Um, but dude, this first to stay sale hit, bro. And also they had one of these listed for $75 inside, but this exact same like porcelain jug was listed as $5 outside. So I'm like, I don't know. I just think it looks cool, bro. Like, I don't know. I kind of got that eye in a certain sense as to how I want to decorate my crib. So I'm like, dude, if I see this and one is five, the other 75, just know I'm gonna get it. It's lit. So the homie Peter pulled up as well. First of all, look at his swag, dude. Got the polo bear hat on. You feel me? The Catwoman tee, the NASA jacket. This, this man from a whole nother planet. Jesus, but this is a crazy wallet he found. He says from 98. 96. 96. Sheesh. Bro, the Rugrats wallet. This thing is so freaking yeah, yeah. tough. Damn. That's lit. He also got a trunk full of stuff too. Just so fire. So fire. Oh my fault, my fault, my fault. Yeah. Alright guys, we've touched down. I almost just broke my ankle in that uneven yard. But um we're at the second estate sale of the day. I didn't even plan on going to more, but my juices are flowing. This is the one that the homie Peter was at, so I'm not quite sure if there still will be a lot of stuff because it is the like later in the afternoon so like the later you come sometimes the more slept on um or the later you come sometimes the more stuff is already gone but regardless we're gonna pop in and see what they're about all right guys we have walked in and this was labeled as picker's paradise and literally it is you have star wars posters shirts and then you have a ton of books vhs's glowing lamp globes that is awesome it's sold and then a ton of planes just hovering right above the fan dude this is awesome you got warhawks in the building what vape based their designs off of gi joe soldiers oh my gosh dude this is just so awesome I'm so glad I actually pulled up here because these are so cool to look at. Um, a lot of stuff probably already is gone or has been sold, but I mean, I just had to show up while a lot of this stuff was still out because this is this is amazing. Oh, the Yashika? That's a beautiful name for a child, Yashika. This is like paradise for me. I love when stuff is set up like this. It is just so cool. Like, look, California clocks, too. Wow. Oh, man. Elvis. Hair goals, man. Look at this dude. Look at those luscious locks. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is nuts. Like, <laughs> I'm in the bedroom right now in the closet. 
I'm about to come out the closet. Um, but I'm trying to see if they have any clothes. I know my homies already hit this place. So I'm sure if they had any real grails of shirts, they'd already be gone, but it always is worth a peek. I mean, on my shoulder, I have this crazy vintage hoodie that I found. Just a nice clean essential that I decided to pick up. Um, but yeah, dude, I love, look at this, tiger face tee. Let's go. I might have to, bro. Yo, these glasses are a classic. They also have a bunch of belts. Shout out Travis Scott one time. You guys already know belt. Belt. Um, intricate designs. A bunch of cool buckles. Dude, how unique. All right, so here's the essential hoodie that I found. I just like the cut and sew on the sleeves. It has a different color hood than the body. And then check this out, dude. You have Bugs Bunny dropping straight up Roadrunner traps out the plane. You have the Taz tie. You have the Looney Tunes ties. You got my boy Big Goof once again. I hate Goofy especially. The tie collection actually hits hard. This one I might have to pick up. Good God, dude. This is just so crazy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is like the craft room. But look at the wallpaper. Animal encrusted. It's looking like Noah's Ark in paper form. Dude, this is just, there's so much. It's overwhelming. Wow. The living room is packed. Look at this Mickey phone. That is so cool. It's like 60. I already have one of these, except not, not quite as old. Man, that phone is so awesome. Yo, this raccoon has more style than like 80% of people on Instagram. Ooh, the Marvin mugs too? Interstellar, baby. Dude, this mouse pad is so sick. Dang, this is so cool. Houston Oilers vintage football. Just a nice little collectible. I might have to get this. I used to have a Cowboys one that I would play with as a youth. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. The record collection too. Masters of the Universe, Batman, <laughs> Mickey's Christmas, Time Machine. Dude, the covers on these are woo, so crispy. Like, oh my goodness. Spidey Super Stories. Bro, this is goofy with his hand up, just commanding the sled. Dude, these are awesome, man. Just the art, like, the graphic on this joint is crazy. Seven dollars? Man, it's, it's beautiful. Dude, I kid y'all not, every house has had that strap. It's crazy, dude. Yo. Yo. Oh yes sir indeed baby. Look at this suitcase. Bro, I must grab this one. That's an instant cop. Bro, look at these guys going off the Zanny. They have two of these dudes. I'm gonna take the tops off and put plants in them. The plants will serve as their hair, so yeah. Guys, look at the whip. Bro, my van is sitting so clean. All right, so I'm out of there, dude. Honestly, the only reason I truly pulled up to this estate sale was to show you guys what it looked like. Like 100%, this was for the content because my homies ran through that. If I was there this morning, oh my God, it probably would have been insane with some of the cops, but I still got some good stuff, which is amazing. Um, bro, I got these dope little Mayan dudes in the garage. They were like each $2.50 and then you can pop the top on them. I definitely am gonna put some plants in there, give them some spiky hair, or something crazy like that. And then I got the suitcase. I filled it with the ties. And then last and not least, I got some more hedge clippers, just in case the other ones weren't super sharp. Always better to double up. And so I got all that for 20 bucks. I mean, come on. But anyways, we're gonna proceed, I guess, to a thrift or to tomorrow. We'll see where we end up. All right, for show. All right guys, so this is actually clutch. Y'all can see I jumped in a Goodwill and I just have to show off like four quick clothing acquisitions. You have the IZOD vintage vertical stripes. Man, this thing is looking like a coral reef in the color scheme. And then you guys know, man, a hey, pug life for real. You have the pug encrusted vintage mountain tee. Hold up. Finished in USA, assembled in Mexico. Whatever that means, man, it's crossing borders, cross-cultural. And then this piece right here says, don't look back. It's the Anakin Skywalker Star Wars tee. Now, I'm pretty sure this was um, on a like 1999 
frame it definitely had the stitch and tag so that's pretty cool i'm gonna grab that dude it's like two bucks got a little distressing in the sleeve and then uh texas longhorns vintage crew neck this is extra tiny so i'm gonna leave it wait hold up <laughs> one more piece to show off that guatemalan hand knit piece of fire dude this is like 120 percent yarn that's like a, a cat's playground on this piece. Dude, I'm about to grow plants in this Tweety and Thalvester piece. Man. Whoa! All right, guys, and yes, in D Leo. We are back from um, today's estate sales. Actually, it's like two days later. I hit up a few more the next day, so I shot the video on a Saturday, hit some more on Sunday, but instead of cramming all that into like a 30 minute long video, I'm gonna do a part two to this video, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. And you guys know, if y'all want any vintage clothes, any collectibles, check out my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's content, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Show a little bit of love out here to your boy um my favorite piece was the coke table obviously it wasn't worth the 760 i saw it listed for which is pretty much the case anytime you use just listings aside from like sold um, on ebay to determine the price ranges of things and it wasn't an exact match but with that being said it's worth about 100 bucks i got it for 50. Um, i'm thinking about keeping it in the personal collection unless one of you guys who lives locally in the houston area really really wants it then maybe i can entertain some some offers my emails in the video description but uh yeah man until next time live the dream eat that ice cream stay tuned because tomorrow's video oh my god i got a whole bunch of clothes in that thing so yeah it's gonna be worth checking out but anyways see ya and uh yeah live the dream with that ice cream i'm out killing these songs leaving a bloody life i roost and i'm in it to win it so i'm somebody that you should get used to